A group of distinguished personalities at Gibraltar include King George of Greece, Lord Gort, and Sir Stafford Cripps, at this time outward bound on his historic mission to India. Before resuming his journey, Sir Stafford is afforded an opportunity of conferring with the two leaders who are so vitally concerned with the extremities of the Mediterranean. The RAF and Yugoslav flags fly side by side in the Middle East, where Serbs, Croats and Slovenes work together in complete harmony. Their squadron crest is indicative of the friendly spirit that binds these Balkan pilots in the common task of freeing their country. The work of this Yugoslav squadron is naval patrols. They know the Dalmatian coastline well. Once they belong to the Yugoslav fleet air arm. Today they're hitting back at the Nazis as a gallant little unit with a big ideal. They left Yugoslavia unable to say goodbye to their families. They left because as airmen, their only chance of fighting on lay with the Allies. There are men of many nationalities like that, and the RAF is proud to have them in its ranks. Another story from the Middle East concerns the Sea Rescue Service. As news is received of a rubber dinghy having been sighted floating in the sea, fleet air arm crews set off in their walrus flying boat to save a pilot who has bailed out. All rescues are by no means as easily affected as this. In all weathers and however remote the chance of success, the Sea Rescue Service goes out to save life. Miss Airman made a forced landing and paddled around for only an hour before help came along in the shape of a very friendly walrus. On the home front, the Prime Minister spends a day, and Corporal Mary Churchill is there too, with troops in the Southern Command. Men trained as commandos are there, smiling broadly behind their black looks, as Mr Churchill examines one of their storming daggers. A very useful argument to have when it comes to a showdown. Searching and digging out landmines is another wrinkle worth knowing. Before leaving, the Premier talks to the men for a few minutes. And in his words is the ring of the fighting man we know him to be. It's the language that the army understands. 